The former UFC light heavyweight title challenger Anthony Smith stepped up in his last minute main event at UFC on ESPN 18, submitting Devin Clark in the very first round. Clark's mother passed away just eight days before his first ever headline, so it was a huge ask for him just to be there. But after back-to-back -back losses for Smith, a first-round triangle was exactly the sort of win Lionheart needed. He looked awesome, said UFC President Dana White of Smith's return to form. He came in to make a statement and message received. He looked good. In fact, Anthony Smith looked so good, he took home a 50K performance bonus. The other three went to Miguel Baeza and Nathan Manis for their second round submissions, and Sue Madurji for his first round knockout. Speaking of sending messages, the UFC's latest superstar in the making, Davison Figueredo, has done just that. Hours after making his first defense of the flyway title, the Brazilian juggernaut agreed to defend again three weeks later. The god of war will face Mexico's assassin baby, Brandon Moreno, who also got himself a first round victory on the same night, and who also accepted the title bout that same night. Who said the flyweights were boring? And the undefeated world boxing champion, Clarissa Shields, will make her hotly anticipated jump into mixed martial arts in 2021. T-Rex has now signed on with the PFL in the States. I'm still gonna accept my mandatory challenges in boxing, said the undisputed middleweight champ, but I plan on having maybe two or three boxing matches and two to three MMA fights next year. Watching the two-time Olympic gold medalist swing four ounce MMA gloves will be a treat, but at who? Anyone hoping she'll face the UFC champ Amanda Nunez or the former PFL champ Kayla Harrison is likely to be dreaming. Shields dominates at a weight two divisions above either of them, so her biggest challenge might be finding worthy opponents. Thanks for watching, and remember, if you want more fight sports in your life, just hit the subscribe button.